Good morning, everyone. I trust you are well. I bring the message of our Lord Jesus Christ to us this morning. And this message is particularly for our youth and young adults. The passage is found in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19 to 20. It says, This day I call the heavens and the earth as witnesses against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessings and causes. Now choose life so that you and your children may live and that you may love the Lord your God. Listen to his voice and hold fast to him for the Lord is your life. And he will give you many years in the land he swore to give to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I pray that the, 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 the verse will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. The topic of this message is the power of choice. The power of choice. See, God has created all of us. With a free will and God will never at any point in time infringe on your right to make your choice however it would it would present to you advices direction guidance so that you can apply all those to make the right choice but it's not going to force you it will be hoping for you to take his own advice. And if you consider the fact that on a daily basis, we are faced with multitudes of decisions to make, choices that we have to make. And from the passage that we read, it tells us that these decisions are caught in between two walls. There's no, no sitting on the fence. It's either your choice or your decision leads you to life or it leads to death. You see that it brings about blessings or it brings about curses. There is no gray area. No gray area at all. So again, if you consider the fact that there are loads of decisions that you have to make, some of which can lead you to your, your, your greatest goal in life. For example, you're about to get married. The choice of the person of your spouse that you're going to marry can either make you or can destroy you. Maybe you're about going into a business deal. Your choice, your decision in making that deal, it can either be that which will lead to a great blessing or it can destroy your life. Maybe you're about to make a choice of your career. Possibly you want to buy a house or you're looking to change your job. You're looking to relocate or you're about to enter into a relationship with a friend. All these choices can either lead you to life it can bring either blessings or curses. So, what that means is there is need for you and I to apply wisdom before we make a choice. I'll give you an example. In the book of 1 Kings chapter 12 from verse 1 to 20, there is a young man there called Rehoboam, the son of King Solomon. So after King Solomon died, he took over the, the kingdom of Israel. To cut the long story short, he made one silly decision. One, just one silly decision. And that decision split up the kingdom. The, the kingdom of Israel was made up of 12 tribes. And he, he was the king of the 12 tribes. Because of his foolish decision that he made. The, the ten part of the tribes he went away with a different person and that person called Jeroboam became the king of ten tribes 
we only had to roll Judah and Benjamin because of one silly decision. I'm thinking, what decision are you about to make today, tomorrow, or in the nearest future? A serious decision. Maybe it could be a life-threatening one. It could be a destiny-impacting one. My question, are you seeking the right counsel to make this decision? In the story I just mentioned, Rehoboam, the king of Solomon, of the son of Solomon, the king of Israel, he didn't consult the right people or he didn't take the right counsel to make that decision. Hence, he made a very foolish decision. So, who are you speaking to? Where are you getting your information from? This is very, very important because who you're listening to will determine what you do to a large extent. I pray that you will consult the right source to make your choice in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, the book of Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, the Bible makes us understand that God has a plan for you. Even before you were born, God has already thought about you. God has already thought about the decision you're about to make. And God has the, your best interest at heart. God has already made in his, in his palm a blueprint of how your life will go to a, a desired goal, to a, a perfect end. So the question is, who is best for you to, to consult to make that decision, if not God? And if you can consult God, in fact, not just consulting him for that decision alone, you know, if you can surrender to God and begin to allow him guide you, if you use his direction, if you use his guidance and his advices to make all your decisions in life, you are sure of a great destiny. I'd like to read the book of Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21. Isaiah 30, 21 says, that is, if you allow God to guide you, he says, whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. You can imagine you, you're going on a journey. And you're not sure of the direction you get to a crossroad or you get to a t-junction or you get to a roundabout with many exits and you are not sure of the point to turn to and you don't have a sat now and the voice of god as the verse says comes behind you speaks to your hearing that turn to the right go straight go that way you're about to get into marry and then you have about three suitors speaking to you and you are not sure and god speaks to you how wonderful that would be and god gives you the right direction choose mr a or choose brother x you're about to to go into a business deal and there are two options and then god speaks to you guides you to say make this choice pick this deal and that deal catapults you to your to your great achievement how wonderful that would be but that can only happen if you surrender your life to god because a carnal man an unbeliever cannot hear the voice of god they will not be able to discern so you can only hear the voice of God if God is your father. So that is why I'm inviting you today to come and accept Jesus Christ into your life. The one that died for you. The one that left the glory in heaven and came to this world. He went to the cross of Calvary. He was nailed to that cross. He shed his blood just because of you. 
and all he's looking from, from you is for you to come to him and accept the gift of salvation and confess your sins to God and ask God for mercy and ask God to come into your life. And then he take on the shape of your life and it begins to guide your path. The Bible says the steps of a righteous man, they are directed by God. God can bestow his righteousness upon you. And you become a righteous man. If only you surrender yourself to the Lord Jesus Christ. If only you confess Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. If only you allow God to take over the reins of your life. And he begins to guide your path. He begins to guide your path. The Bible says, lines are falling for me in pleasant places. That surely I have a godly heritage. So if you can come to God today and accept Jesus into your life. So my question is, do you want to accept Jesus into your life today? If your answer is yes, please can you just bow your head and begin to talk to God. And firstly, I want you to confess your sins to God. All this while that you have been living your life, you have been making your choices without consulting God. That you have been going against His will. You need to come before God this morning and begin to tell Him that you are sorry. Confess every wrong you've done to God. Confess before God and ask God for mercy. Ask Him to forgive you. Ask Him to, to wipe your sins away with the blood of Jesus. And then tell God, that you believe that Jesus died for you. That you believe him as your Lord. Confess before him today that you believe Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. Ask him to write your name in the book of life. And ask him to help you to begin to make the choices according to his will. Begin to talk to God before I pray with you in a short while. Speak to God. God wants to be your father. He wants to guide you on every step of your way. If only you can come before God in total surrender. Speak to God. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. I'd like you to take this prayer with me. Please say this prayer after me. Say, Father, I come before you this morning. I come before you today. I acknowledge I cannot help myself. I am limited and you are unlimited. Father, please have mercy upon me. Forgive me all my sins. Please write my name in the book of life. Deliver me from this nature of sin. And please help me, Lord, to begin to follow your steps. Help me, Lord, to begin to follow your, your leading. Order my steps, O God, and have your way in my life. Lord, I confess before you today that I believe Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. Father, help me, Lord, and let your name be glorified in my life. Thank you, Father, for you have answered my prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. I'd like to congratulate you if you have surrendered yourself to God this morning. That is, you confess your sins to God. You, you ask God for forgiveness and you confess with your mouth that Jesus is your Lord. I say congratulations. And I'm saying this because I know that the host of heaven is rejoicing over you. So I can only rejoice with you. And I can only add that please look for a Bible-believing church where you can begin to fellowship with believers and you can begin to study the word of God and pray so that you can grow in faith. And as you continue to do this, as you continue to wait on the voice of God, God will begin to guide your steps. That next decision you're about to make, God will order your steps right. And you will reach your goal in Jesus' name. Please look at the comment box. There is a link there. It's a form. Please fill the form. Uh, you can also use that for your prayer requests. And I look forward to hearing from you. God will preserve you blameless till he comes in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you.